New tonight, Governor Hopeless signed legislation that will limit where people can carry guns. The new law is in response to the U.S. Supreme Court ruling overturning the state's open carry restrictions. But it's not clear if the bill will withstand legal challenges. The bill is passed. The legislature passed a sweeping new gun law, and Governor Hochul wasted no time in putting her signature on it. We are creating a definitive list of sensitive locations where individuals will not be able to carry firearms. The bill enacted in response to the U.S. Supreme Court striking down New York's concealed carry law last week as too restrictive. I consider today to be a return favor to the United States Supreme Court. The Empire State strikes back today. The new law bans guns in Times Square, bars gun permits for people with a history of dangerous behavior, requires background checks for ammunition purchases, updates gun storage laws, and bans guns in bars and restaurants unless they post a sign allowing them. What we're trying to do is protect the legitimate rights of private property owners by telling them they don't have to have someone walk into their establishment with a concealed weapon. But Republicans in our area say the new law won't solve New York's violent crime problem. No data has been presented that shows concealed carry permit holders are drivers of gun violence. The increase in crime here in New York can only be addressed effectively one way, and that is by holding violent criminals accountable for their actions. And critics say the new gun law will face immediate challenges. This law is going to be thrown out in court, uh, and it's just another indication of uh, the failure of one-party rule. The legislature is also moving to strengthen New York's equal rights and abortion laws by making them part of the state constitution. It is time that the government knows loud and clear that they must get their bans off our bodies. Now, the Equal Rights Amendment, as it's known, will now have to be voted on by the legislature again next year and then goes to a public referendum. If approved, it would become a part of the New York Constitution.